Here at the Penn State uh, Dairy Cattle Nutrition Workshop, I'm visiting with Dr. Robert Corbett. And uh, Dr. Corbett, your presentation uh, here, uh, which we'd like to make sure we mention, is sponsored by Prince Agri Products, focused on minimizing stress and protecting dairy cattle immune function during the transition period. Why is that important in terms of health and production? The main reason is that the biggest time that animals end up leaving the herd is usually the first 60 days following uh, calving and the major reason is problems with their immune system and metabolic disease. Mm -hmm. And through nutrition and management we can have the biggest effect on minimizing both of those issues around the time of calving. Can you explain how the stress hormone cortisol suppresses immune function and the effect on dairy cow health? Mm -hmm. Cortisol, the hormone cortisol, is normally released at the time of calving by the, the fetus itself to initiate the calving process. It's actually a steroid hormone, uh, very similar to dexamethasone, which is used in humans to suppress their immune system uh, with organ transplants and things like that. So what cortisol does is actually inhibits the production of L-selectin, which is a hormone that's extremely important for white blood cells to be able to slow down in the blood vessels and actually enter into area of infection and be able to destroy the organism. You cited several nutritional recommendations for transition cow health like maximizing dry matter intake and feeding a nutritional supplement to support the immune system. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Um, in general, dry cows are usually not fed very well. Traditionally, they're on poor quality feeds and rations, and as a result, are uh, uh, low on energy and protein around the time of calving. Uh, I like to see higher energy and protein levels, um, a negative decad ration to maximize calcium absorption, and then there's products such as uh, available such as Omnigen that's been proven to stimulate their immune system around the time of calving. That makes a tremendous difference on the health of the animal uh, under high stress periods at calving time. What role can uh, cow comfort, uh, avoiding overcrowding and other management strategies play? Um, all of those issues increase stress on the animal. So we have a physiological stress that could be due to uh, severe environmental changes or uh, free stalls that are not comfortable, uh, issues like that, inclement weather. Uh, we need to do anything we can possibly do to make sure that the animals are comfortable and minimize the stress. If we minimize stress, we'll also minimize the level of cortisol in the bloodstream. You also noted that impaired immune function can result from low blood calcium in close-up cows. Can you discuss the connection between blood calcium and immune function? Yeah. Calcium is now called the second messenger of the immune system and it's actually stored inside white blood cells. When a white blood cell comes in contact with a bacteria, it stimulates release of calcium within the white blood cell which in turn causes the production of antibody, uh, cytokines, and many other chemicals and peptides that are important in a, in a functioning immune system. So without calcium, the entire immune system is compromised. Are there any other takeaways from your presentation you might want to mention? I think uh, maximizing dry matter intake in the, in the close-up and fresh cows is probably the single most important thing, and uh, especially uh, when we're looking at uh, stocking densities of both the close-up and fresh cow pens, I prefer that they not be over 80% of the available bunk space. Unfortunately, a lot of people look at stocking density based on the number of free stalls in a pen. Uh, and so if they, each animal has a free stall, then they feel that's uh, okay. But there's a lot of six-row barns now that uh, are way overstocked when we're looking at feeding uh, bunk space. And I think that's a real major issue. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Robert Corbett, one of our presenters here at the pre-conference for the Penn State Dairy Cattle Nutrition Workshop. I'm Chuck Zimmerman.